Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. I'm currently still overseas, so my internet connection uh, isn't that good. Um, I'll be going home tonight, uh, so hopefully I have a better connection. But I'll be flying off to China tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll be back on the 4th of February. Uh, hopefully I will, won't be having a bad connection as compared to here. Uh, but with that said, I'd like to show you guys uh, the clan wall for today. So as you can see, the clan wall has just finished and I would like to uh, congratulate my friend's clan, Bogus United, for achieving a 100th wall win. It's not uh, easy to do a 100th wall win, especially when uh, it takes a lot of time and dedication from each of your clan mates. And um, we'll proceed on to see the score for the last wall, which is shown now at 122 against 100 stars. So we would like to show you guys uh, some clan wall replays. So we will proceed on with the first replay which is against TQD done by Garnishus. So we shall see what he has used to attack. Uh, my internet connection is a bit slow so please bear with me for the moment. It's uh, against a Town Hall 9 with uh, mass dragons with uh, balloons so it's dry loons. So we will see how he did it. He did it in uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds uh, Luring out the CC with the dragons uh, And then after that just killing the CC with uh, his dragons Balloons following at the back Using the dragons to tank the damage from the AD and even uh, the CC troops Raging at a very nice place Healing uh, his balloons as it goes As uh, there's no multi inferno that won't be stopping of the healing uh, spell so they just continue with a lava hound actually in the CC that I just noticed and uh, the lava pups came out to kill the, the remaining uh, structures. Uh, left only a level 2 air defense, uh, I doubt it will be able to, be able to take out the remaining uh, last 3 dragons on the left with another one on the right taking out the wizard tower right now. So I think this raid is practically over with just the king protecting uh, the ground which uh, he can't do anything hitting the dragons. So with that said, I think this raid is just practically over with one more Builder's Heart uh, left. So with one breath, the Builder's Heart is down. So we'll proceed on to the second uh, attack that I'd like to show you guys. Uh, that was uh, done by my uh, sub-account, which uh, is this attack on uh, number 3. So I was using the same army composition uh, for my, pre as my previous attack, which is uh, Gowi. Gowi -wi. Practically, it's uh, using of Golem. Wizard, Witch and uh, Becca and my CC to attack Same deployment style, 3 golems and then using a Rage and Jump jump spell to try to get the, my heroes and my Becca into the core Freezing the Infernos so that it stops killing my Wizards and also my Witch And uh, to lure the CC out, the CC is uh, actually all archers So we shall see how to how do we deal with it We shall drop a lightning spell now to kill majority of the archers uh, with that, um, the CC, uh, Town Hall has been down by the splash damage of the uh, Wizards and also the Queen has also taken it out dropping a few more Archers on the corners to just get a few more percentages because I have uh, 6 Archers remaining so with that said, this raid is, uh, can say is practically over with just a 2 star I uh, couldn't 3 star this place as my heroes uh, wasn't high enough level and my free spell and wasn't a uh, max yet, in fact it's only level 1 so hopefully I would uh, spend more time farming a bit to upgrade my free spell um, the third and final raid I'd like to show you guys is uh, my uh, particular attack, my own attack uh, which I use my main to attack um, use a la laloons with, uh, with a golem so I decided to lure the CC out, it's uh, all archers, so it's quite irritating to lure it out. Luckily I brought uh, barbarians with me uh, to lure the CC, as I noticed that the CC was really easy to lure. Bringing the archers to the corner, dropping my CC which had two, uh, which two, two witches, two wizards and uh, three barbarians. So they just continued. I decided to split my king and queen. King will be on the top, trying to get the AD on the top. And then the queen with a golem on the bottom trying to get the AD as well as some of the defensive structures so once they were in I, I uh, deploy my balloons on the right so the balloons are going in right now with uh, lava hounds at the back trying to tank the damage from uh, the defenses especially the wizard tower um, raging at the right place so that the balloons will actually 
uh, reach all the way to the AD to get the AD as soon as possible. Uh, freezing both inferno, single inferno and AD at the same time and uh, raging in the center so that the balloons will take out the inf single infernos as fast as possible. Hopefully that they do not target uh, my uh, Archer Queen so that she survives as long as possible. Uh, so one of the um, lava hound has exploded and the lava pups has come out. This is a very very important um, thing that must happen which is the lava hound uh, should explode. If it doesn't explode, um, the lava hound's damage eventually when all the structures are down uh, might not be able to have enough time to take out the remaining structures. So as you can see, I have one more lava hound left. So at this point of time, I was a little worried because uh, the timing might not be, the time might not be enough to uh, finish the raid as for three star. But luckily, there was another air ball, air mine that ex made my lava hound exploded, which all the pups came out. So eventually, uh, they just clear up the base, finish up the base at the bottom. The last uh, builder's hut, taking it out and finish up, finishing up the raid with a three star. So that's it for my this uh, clan more with Boogers United. Uh, I'd like to thank them once again and also congratulate them once once more for letting me be part of their hundreds war win. Uh, with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching my video and clash on.